Have you ever wondered, what is the worst that can happen if you become incapacitated or pass away without an estate plan in place? If you have, you're not alone. This is actually a common question our clients ask us, especially from those in close-knit families who believe their kids or other loved ones can just automatically step in and peacefully sort everything out when they pass away without needing additional legal documents or guardrails in place. In fact, many people mistakenly believe that my spouse or kids can just step in and take care of things or that everything just goes to their family. Failing to plan makes life harder for the people you love. The truth of the matter is that without a plan, or with the wrong plan, you make things much harder for the people you care about, even if everything goes as smoothly as possible and everyone gets along. Managing your affairs will also become much more costly and more time-consuming than it needs to be if something happens. You may not like the default plan the government already has in place for you and your family. Remember, you are not obligated to create an estate plan as long as you like the one the government provides for you, your family, and your home and your life savings. Let me ask you a question. Do you think the government's plan is going to be the least expensive option for your family? The one that saves the most in taxes, takes the least amount of time, keeps your family out of courts, keeps everything private, and is the least likely to cause family disputes? I think you know the answer to that. The only way to override the government's plan is to create a plan of your own. And if a crisis happens during your lifetime and you don't have a plan, you lose the risk, you run the risk of losing flexibility, and you may even lose control. Even if your loved ones want to help you if you get sick or become incapacitated, they can be barred from getting involved with with your affairs because of privacy or HIPAA laws. If that happens, all decisions about your care and your future will be made by a judge who doesn't know you or what is important to you. And once a court gets involved in your family life, finances, and affairs, the court stays involved until either you regain capacity or pass away. That means ongoing legal fees, court costs, and stress for your family. The bottom line is, that an estate plan is a roadmap that's designed to keep the government and the courts out of you and your family's affairs and to make it as easy and inexpensive as possible for yourself and your loved ones in the event of illness, incapacity, or death. It's one of the most loving gifts you can give them.